make the country seem smaller. Orlando hurts and many people here in Birmingham hurt for them and with them. And tonight we have live team coverage of what people are doing and saying to help in the healing process. We began with CBS 42 News anchor Alex Finney, who is live at Lent Park in downtown Birmingham. Alex, people are gathering there tonight to honor the victims of these Orlando shootings. That's exactly right, Jim. And as a matter of fact, we are about an hour out from things kicking off. People have already started filing into Lynn Park. But let me tell you, the vibe here, people have very heavy hearts, of course. Just coming off Pride Fest, it was such a community feel. You had people celebrating. People were united. And now we had this senseless tragedy out of Orlando that has rocked our community here in Birmingham. And for the first time tonight in Birmingham history, we're going to see that Pride flag draped over City Hall. Hall, which let me tell you, it's something that the Central Alabama Pride Organization, the headliners of this remembrance here tonight, say they've tried to do before, but they did not have any success at that time. But of course, after this shooting yesterday, 49 people dead, the gravity of this situation, the organization tells me they were immediately in contact with the mayor's office, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, plans were already underway for today, and the planning for what we're going to see uh, at 6 o'clock. It's, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Let's hear from the event organizer. There will probably be those that aren't appreciative of what the city is doing tonight, um, but we do thank the city of Birmingham for standing with us. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, the FBI is calling this an act of terrorism. Um, and no matter if they were gay, straight, whatever, they were still Americans. And I think it's a time for all Americans to stand together instead of trying to make subsets of who was impacted by this. And as President Obama said yesterday, some really powerful words, regardless of your ethnicity, your race, your sexual orientation, this event yesterday affects us all as Americans, which is why Central Alabama Pride wants people to come out, really get to know your neighbors, know the people that live around you. We know that this vigil will be running from 6 to 6.30 tonight. The event will last till 8 o'clock, and there will be some really impactful speakers here tonight. Also, there will be the Steel City Men's Chorus. They will be performing along with some other celebrations as well. And we are going to be here live at 6 o'clock covering the whole event for you. And as a matter of fact, in the next hour at 6 o'clock as well, we're going to hear from the event organizer who's going to be joining me live during our newscast. So, of course, stay with us as we cover this event here today. For now, live in Lynn Park, Alex Finney, CBS 42 News. And not just in Birmingham, communities across Alabama are coming together tonight to honor the victims of these Orlando terror attacks. Yeah, people in several communities are holding candlelight vigils. One of them is in Anniston. That vigil at Oxford Lake begins at 730. At the same time, a vigil will be held at the University of Alabama campus. That will be on the steps of the Gorgas Library. It begins at 730 and goes until 930 tonight. And